All right, evening all, Chief Prepper here. So my credit card took a whooping today, uh, just over $6,000, 1800 and something for uh, paying up my car. Uh, it's definitely a splurge. I spent the uh, evening after supper basically putting everything back together because if you don't know, when you uh, put a car in for paint, you gotta strip it for everything. Um, so, mostly happy with the paint job. Uh, I was expecting them to, fit, to fix the dents, and uh, they didn't fix the dents. So, not the end of the world because the car looks much better than it did. Uh, what does suck is two weeks ago, this coming Friday, uh, sometime between when I stopped at the gas station down the street to a second or a third stop in the night uh, at another place. Uh, my challenger got dinged real bad. So I tried to go to a non uh, non paint repair shop and I sent them pictures and they said that they couldn't do it. I had to go to a regular paint and body shop. So today I was going to get an estimate for the challenger and uh, my Pontiac was supposed to be ready tomorrow and I was just gonna swap cars. So I didn't go with the challenger prepped and then when I got there, the Pontiac was ready. Uh, so I had to take everything out of the Challenger and go through the estimate process, agree to the price, and luckily he didn't require a deposit, but I just spent $3,900 at his store, 2000 a couple, three, three, four weeks ago, and then 1900 today. So the Pontiac, uh, before I went into the body shop on the way back from, we call it a short trip here in Texas, it was 200 miles one way, so it was 400 miles in one day. On the way back, it started uh, spiking the alternator voltage to the battery. I thought I had fixed it, uh, but it did it again today on the way home. Now, I don't know how much of that is eh, something getting hot. So prior to going to the body shop, because I knew I was gonna have to drive it, I went and ordered uh, an alternator and a voltage regulator. Now the voltage regulator and the alternator for a GM fucking alternator is down inside of some bitch, so. Uh, I have a voltage regulator that I don't have any use for. So, so after I put the Pontiac back together, which put the new visors back in, because they got redone, put cup holders, console, center console type thing, you know, uh, steering wheel lock, fire extinguisher, flashlight, undid the top of the dash to hide some wiring for a Sirius XM satellite antenna because it was dangling before and I didn't want to mess with it before I was going to put it in the shop so uh, and then after that the problem I don't know if it's fixed because I don't know what the problem is just yet the alternator was working because it was putting out a lot of electricity but I'm hoping it was the voltage regulator on the alternator I have I'll take it back and get a core charge refund on it so that thing was not cheap because uh, I cranked it up earlier and it's running fine so on to the big news uh, the reason my credit card took a whooping today is because I came I just now ordered the Blue 80 AC 500 uh, L with two of the B 300 batteries so I talked to my wife and if we're going to stay here or even if we're going to go somewhere else, I got to order two more 200 watt panels and then I'll have 1200 watts of uh, solar that I can put into it. And with the batteries the way they are, I can plug in both deep freezes to it. And then that leaves the other blue eddies that I have to power uh, the two, deep, two fridges in the house and then, um, what do you call it? The, uh, Shit. I'll have a third one to do other stuff so uh, I plan to put stuff into service soon uh, and then with all the news and the information out there uh, it's just looking like a shit storm getting ready to hit so I would encourage all of you to work on maintaining your quality of life uh, that would probably be last because if you're just prepping you need to just starting you need to do your food water security and shelter and then worry about backup power because you can live without power. You'll be very uncomfortable, but you can live without it. So, uh, just wanted to jump on here tomorrow. I'll probably do a short video showing you the car. Uh, I'm 
probably going to be selling it soon. I don't know yet. I might, uh, I might not, because uh, I really like the car. I drove it today and I loved it again. So we'll see what happens. Uh, it doesn't get good gas mileage, but it's not the end of the world. Um, uh, what else? I have a light bulb that's out on it. It's a marker light on the driver's side front. So I gotta find a bulb for that. I had two balls, but it didn't work. So I don't know if it's the uh, socket or not. So I'm gonna have to test that probably to see what's up. Uh, other than that, I put the stereo back in, the face place back on, put the Sirius XM back in, which is the antenna wire I had to hide and then set up everything. Uh, so it's, it's golden again. The new visors are, are, are too big. Actually, I gotta I gotta talk to the guy and see if he can see if I can split them, or cut them, and then resew them because he he made the new ones different than the old ones because they're gonna hit the uh, rearview mirror. Uh, Jen Urso is seems like I hope she's gonna work out. She got a, a whooping like a son of a bitch this morning because she pawed my face. And telling her not to do that uh, but hopefully not too many more though she's got to learn the rules um, I love dogs but my dogs are disciplined and they do what I tell them to do as long as they do that all they get is love if they don't do that then they'll get a stern talking to and then they'll get a spanking if they don't uh, so yeah it's uh a bad time right now it's a rough time uh, it just seems like everything's getting worse and worse apparently Trump had to be rushed away from somewhere because there was somebody there trying to kill him today it's fucking crazy so, you know, I watched part of the DNC thing it's like a bunch of fucking it's like a pep rally but they're not fucking saying anything other than they're great great at what Fucking disgusting. Come out with the revised numbers for jobs. Oh, we uh we over forecasted jobs by 818,000. Oh, she's the greatest thing in since sliced cheese, but she everything she's fucking touched has gone to shit. But the Democrats are fucking wonderful. Fuck them. Anyway. Uh the blue eddy is supposed to show up on the 28th or 29th, so that's next week. Hopefully it happens. There's rumors of a fucking rail strike uh, in Canada and now maybe possibly a port strike uh, in LA and the US. So uh, basically that's durable goods. And if it's not available, you can't buy it. So I've been saying, buy your durable goods, buy your tools, buy this, buy that. Shoes, clothing, underwear, socks, t-shirts, buy it all. You know, I know nobody can afford to buy it all at once. So I'm just saying that we're approaching a time if all this shit comes to a head at the same time, then it's going to be fucking awful. So information that is knowledge and power live a little, or live a little, prep a lot, share the love, keep prepping.